Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this as x tends to 0. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, the first thing we should do is should check. Put 0 onto here. As x tends to 0, this thing is going to head towards 0. Uh, put 0 onto here. This thing here will head towards 0. And tan, remember the tan graph looks like this. So as x tends to 0, it is also heading towards 0. So this is going to be 0, 0, take away 0. This whole thing here is going to head towards 0. So this is an indeterminate form. So we've got to use L'Hopital's rule. So using L'Hopital's rule, hang on. Uh, differentiate this, that will then take you to here. Differentiate, uh, differentiate this whole thing here, it will then take you to here. So now, now we should check, put it into here. So this thing here is going to head towards zero. Uh, put this into here. Re remember secant, uh, secant squared of x. Secant of x is, is one over cos of x. So, um, so cos of x here is, um, well, as x tends to zero, uh, this thing here is going to head towards 1, so you've got 1 over 1, nothing breaks down. It is, well, this is going to be 1, as x tends to 0. This thing is going to be 1, 1 take away 1, that will be 0. So here you've got 0 over 0, is an indeterminate form, so we need to differentiate this whole thing again. We need to apply L'Hopital's rule on this. So we need to differentiate this, and we need to differentiate this. Now to differentiate this, well, uh, you should know this by now. If you want to differentiate this, um, differentiate this, that will then give you this whole thing here. That will then give you this whole thing here. Because you can visualize this as, as 1 over cos squared of x, and then you can rewrite it as this, and then use a chain rule. So uh, using the chain rule, you can take this down, and then the power gets minus by 1. Uh, that will then take you to here, and then you've got to times the derivative of the bubble itself, which is this thing here. and then. Uh, rewrite this, so this is uh, our 2 here, and uh, this is our secant squared, and this is our tan here. So, so when you differentiate, when you differentiate this, it, it will give you this. So anyway, earlier we, we were uh, at a stage where we've got 0 over 0. So this is an indeterminate form, we can, we can use L'Hopital's rule. So differentiate this, and then differentiate this. That will then give you this. That will then give you this. So now check it again. Put it into here. So uh, so that will be uh, that will be zero. Uh, well, if, if you look at this here, secant, and then you've got tan. So uh, so this tan here. The, the, remember the tan graph looks like this. As x tends to zero. Uh, so 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 tan 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 of zero is really zero. So because this is zero, the whole thing here will be zero. So here you've got zero over zero. So still an indeterminate form. So we can uh, we can differentiate it again. Remember, differentiating this, you uh, it, it, we we need to differentiate this. So we've got to use a product rule there. So we need to uh, remember we need to differentiate this, leave this the same, and then leave this the same. Differentiate this. So well, just remember that when you differentiate this, just remember that when you differentiate this. Just remember when you differentiate this, it will give you uh, it will give you this whole thing here. Okay, so so just bear that in mind. Well, anyway, we need to differentiate this. So um, so so differentiating. Hang on, let, let me think. I made a mistake. Bear with me. This should be six here. So differentiating uh, differentiating this would give you a six, and then differentiating this whole thing here will give you. Will give you this whole thing here because um, it visualize it like this. So if you remember this, this is a product rule. If you differentiate this, it will then give you this. So the product rule is differentiate this, leave this the same. So when you differentiate this, it will give you this, and then you leave this the same, leave this the same, and then and then you you plus uh, and then you leave this the same. So this minus here is this here. You leave that the same, and then you differentiate this, which is this bit here. So, so think about it. You should know how to differentiate this by now. So, so if you differentiate this, it will then give you this. Differentiate this, it will then give you this. So now, uh, now tidy this up. So here you've got, uh, here you've got this block, and that well, tan tan that will, that would take you to tan squared, 
uh, secant squared secant squared uh, to the power of four. And then now, uh, now, now test it. So if we put zero into into if we if we put zero into here, because tan looks like this, uh, tan tan of zero zero, making this whole thing here zero. So we can forget about this. Um, put zero into here. Uh, well, re remember secant. Well, put zero into here. It will be it will be one. This whole thing here will be one. Uh, because if, if, if imagine secant squ squared as this. As as um, as x tends to zero, this is going to be one. So it's going to be one over one. And then you you power it. You um, you power it, and then you well this this whole thing here is going to be one. This whole thing here will be one. So one times negative two that will give you this negative two. Then the limit is really negative three. If you get a graph plot and plot it, you can see that as x as x tends to uh, to zero, you are indeed heading towards towards negative three. Okay? So your answer is negative three. Okay?